All right, Hoffity guys, and welcome to another episode of the One Micronesia podcast. Now, today is going to be a, a very special one because I get to educate myself on um, what this organization is all about. And today I get to uh, sit down and for the first time uh, meet uh, this, this awesome brother uh, who reached out to me over social media uh, after I did a couple of episodes way back. I believe it was with Mello. Um, and Craig over a beach cleanup. So after that, he reached out and was like, "Hey, man, you know, I want to, you know, I want to get in contact with you. Uh, try to, you know, I, I have something going on. You know, I want to push this out, and I believe uh, this would be a right uh, place to talk about it because it would also benefit uh, the the brothers and sisters from the FAS citizens." So I'm like, "Hey, if, it, yeah. if that's what it's for, you know, if, if that's the deal, I'm all for it." So uh, here with me on the podcast as my guest, and if for the first time ever meeting him, I do have Troy. Uh, again with me, Troy, brother. Thank you so much. I know it's so late, but uh, you know, it is time, it is. Bro. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for taking your time uh, to speak with me today Absolutely. on the podcast. Honored to be on, man. Thank All you right. for having me. Thank right. you so much. So, Troy, uh, I just want to start off with you know how you how you doing, man. I know with this, with this pandemic, uh, things have been really crazy lately. Uh, so, how you holding up, man? Uh, man, you know, we just just have to you know, say our prayers and you know do what we can do to. Stay home, follow the rules, and you know, uh, keep that social distancing. You know, uh, sanitize your hands, and just do other instru- you know the uh, the recommended instructions. You know, to to uh, not pass it or, or, or to uh, attract the virus. You know, that's all we can do, brother. <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you. You said it. You said it yourself. Uh, so, Troy, yeah. let's go ahead and start. Um, I really want to start with um, the organization that you represent uh, today. Okay. Uh, tell us more about um, this organization. The lunch. Okay, so the lunch tomorrow project. Uh, Gosh, um, uh, I was born and raised in Guam, and I moved to Las Vegas for 13 years. I had two kids and made my way back home to Guam. And so when I came home to Guam, I, I promised myself that I was going to learn the Chamorro language and teach my kids. And so when I went, uh, I promised myself when I landed on, on, uh, uh, back home, I will go and get, you know, tools and, and uh, uh, aids, you know, to help uh, learn language. And I was surprised because there wasn't, there wasn't anything, actually. You know, uh, there was uh, only those... Um, uh, the, 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 I guess the university level uh, folks, you know, um, uh, Dino Chamorro, I believe, is that those, those thick university uh, uh, level books. It was kind of hard, nothing really kid friendly. So I, I just say, hey, why not? If it doesn't exist, why not make one? <laughs> so our first project was the Learn Chamorro uh, DVD uh, for, for kids. Uh, it's the first of its kind as well, too. Uh, and then after that, we uh, ventured off into uh, technology because we, we saw that. That was where the direction of the education and you know tools were, was all the phone. You know, everyone's in the phones. So we happened to be uh, very fortunate to catch, inter, you know, intercept that uh, that uh, that tool and that that medium uh, before it, you know, before it got, uh, I guess, popular. And we made it into a game. You know, about the word picture association with with audio uh, to, to learn how to pronounce the words. Um, uh, and after that, we we got into for our fundraising, we got into five Ks. You know these 5Ks on the weekends that uh, that happened before the uh, the virus. Mm-hmm. So, um, the, those are our uh, uh, fundraisers for the different organizations. So uh, I believe there are over 65 a year on Guam. And um, from what I've heard, it's the, the most 5Ks in, in in the world. So I'm really proud to have the one, the uh, the tomorrow theme uh, 5K. Uh, it's called for Moket Um and that's pretty much what we do. We're, we're we we focus on very simple, basic vocabulary, everyday conversation phrases, and, and, uh, and we uh, incentivize it by turning it into games like uh, crossword puzzles, uh, tri- uh, quizzes, word search, you know, uh, uh, games like that. As a matter of fact, we're working on our latest app, which is uh, one app and it has multiple games in one, basically. Wow. Um, and, I mean, yeah. and you talk about, you know, uh, learning the language. Um, and you took it to a, a whole new level uh, of learning, which is, you know, what we're doing now, what, what kids are, what um, what we uh, are so accustomed to now, which is technology. Yeah, and you have media. to, man. You have to. You cannot fight it. <laughs> you got to go where, where, ha- where their heads and their minds and their eyes are at. You, you never win that battle. <laughs> That's true. Um, so, Matt, so how long has um, the, the Learn to More project has been around for? Oh, gosh. Uh, about 10 years now, uh, um, before we uh, got, got a certification, we're a 501c um, uh, a certified nonprofit, uh, almost two years now. So very, as far as uh, the nonprofit status, is, is, we're, we're very new, but we've been around about 10 years now. 
let's, let's talk about um, this island-wide fundraiser. You said, you know, it was, you, you also, you called it uh, the global-wide fundraiser. Yeah. Let's, let's talk more about the that. Global, yes. Global fundraising. Yes. So, um, this, uh, man, uh, the, the, the world is a different place, my brother. I mean, it's a scary time, man. I mean, if you just, if you're to sit and think about it and, and look what's happening in the news, I mean, gosh, how can you plan for the, you know, how can you plan for something like this, you know? So for me, I've always been one to like not wait around and to like, okay, you know, could someone tell me what to do, you know? So my, my mind's always thinking and, you know, how, how do we fix this right away? You know, how, how would we come up and be creative, you know? So this is my answer uh, to uh, uh, the, the whole fundraising part as far as for, uh, for the nonprofit industry. Because uh, I listen to the news every day religiously, you know, uh, like, you know, rightfully so if you're in business, right? You want to stay in and in, in, uh, keep up to date with what's going on in the business community. And um, I was disappointed because for when, when, the, when the virus started, everyone's talking about business and tourism and all, you know, but there was no mention as whatsoever about the nonprofit sector, you know? And I was like, wow, what's going on? You know, I, I don't want to be the first one to call in and say, hey, what about us? <laughs> you know? So, I mean, you have to understand, I mean, you know, the, the, these charities and nonprofits, they rely on, on you know, grants and also the, the corporate funding you know, from, uh, 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 local uh, businesses, you know, through donations, gift certificates, in kind, you know, donations for raffle tickets, prizes, you know, uh, to get the to to draw to draw in the the crowd for whatever event that's going on. And of course, now, I mean, how can you how can you ask the, these restaurants or these businesses, you know, that you know they don't have money, you know, their, their their business is like eighty percent gone. I mean, it, it, I'm not I'm not even gonna try. You know what I mean? So um, we have to do it ourselves, and so with the, this virtual running, I actually started this thing last year, way before the virus. Uh, and um, like I was telling you before we, we were on the air and, and uh, it was a real struggle, you know, to, to educate the, the corporate guys as far as what the concept was and, and especially the community. I, I, I was pushing them in for almost eight months before the virus hit. And, um, you know, I would never say that, uh, you know, the virus was a, you know, a good thing for the, for the, the whole feature of the, of the virtual running, but, it actually took that virus, you know, and the whole shutdown of the, the community to, to for the for the education to inform how it works because of the social distancing, you know, and staying at home and doing it on your own uh, location and your own time. So it helped out a lot. And uh, and guys, don't there's no accidents, man. So you know, it, it really was a blessing uh, for for the the the, uh, the opportunity to have the virtual runs being a, a core part of our fundraising. And so because of the potential of this uh, global fundraising, right? Now, imagine all these 5Ks that happen in Guam, right? They're, they're just only for here in Guam. Now, imagine now you have the whole world open up. You know, I mean, imagine the potential of, of attracting that much more family, friends, and past military that love Guam and just want to be part of Guam and, you know, get some kind of trinket or, you know, support Guam, right? I mean, that, that shook me to my core because this, it, it's, it, yeah, it's our, it's our event, it's our idea, but I had to share it. You know what I mean, I mean how, how can I do this? And leave my other brothers and sisters in the nonprofit uh, industry, you know, uh, out of the, the possible potential, uh, you know, uh, income uh, for, for their, uh, to keep their missions going. So um, I reached out to, you know, some uh, uh, organizations that I you know, have friends that, that are also uh, leading on their, uh, on their organizations, I mean, you know, culture, uh, you know, like cancer, autism, or uh, just different causes. And uh, I would, I, I want to make my rounds and get at least one, you know, of all the causes, uh, you know, to support, but I'm opening it up to every and all nonprofit, you know, organization, charity. If you, if you need fundraising to support your cause or, or your mission or, or whatever it is you need to do, even family uh, medical fundraising. I mean, I'm even thinking about you know, helping those guys too, as well. Um, the bottom line is my brother is that we have to work together, man. We have to, we have to work together. This um, and uh, I, I'm so happy, man, and proud. Uh, can I go ahead and just like name off like some of the, the guys sure. that are yeah, go for it. Go for it. So I'm I'm really shocked, man, and surprised. Not so shocked, but it's real nice, to, man. When you when I was calling all the gyms, right, to let them know because uh, those are obvious uh, partners in the community, right, to have to support it, you know, to have it in their gym, you know, uh, to display a poster or even share the the weekly challenges, uh, you know, with their the gym members or their social media. And man, everyone I called, man, they. Do have any question? Absolutely. You know, what, what, what do we have to do? We would love to get behind it, you know? And so all within the past less than two weeks, they all, they all came in at the right time. And um, uh, uh, the, the benefactors that we have, if it's okay, um, 
uh, the Micronesian uh, Resource Center, Manielu. Um, let me see. Uh, Second Katurin Chamorro, Micronesian Conservation Coalition, Island Girl Power. Um, uh, oh, and the latest one is the Guam Chamber of Commerce, bro. How, what, what a blessing you know, for, for the Guam Chamber of Commerce to see, just to see the big picture of what this is about. You know what I mean? I mean, gosh, those guys represent hundreds of businesses, you know, and tens of thousands of, of uh, you know, the private sector employees, right? So that was a, man, the, the, the executive committee over there really, I'm speechless, man. They came in a few days ago. So um, this is something special. Something special is happening. Uh, and I can't wait. And, and one of the things, so there, there are two, there are two challenges, uh, actually three. Uh, one is a 5K, a regular 5K, 2K, 5K. The other one is um, a, a, a virtual run for distant, uh, for different uh, distances. For example, one thing I'm really proud about it, it, with our FSM uh, uh, brothers and sisters is whatever miles is it from Guam to Chuk, Guam to Palau, Guam to Yap, you know, Guam to Pompeii, all the different islands in Micronesia, uh, Hawaii, California, Washington, all those places where a lot of tomorrows are at, right? Whatever the, the miles are between Guam and that location, that's the challenge for people to get behind and to, to reach collectively. You know, so if it's, it's 3,000 or 6,000 miles, the goal is to, is to hit that number like within a month or, you know, all the details will be up on, on the websites uh, 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 soon it will, uh, be by, by the end of the month. And, um, and what we're doing is like for, like, for example, with the Micronesian Resource Center, we're, they're benefactors of that race, of that, that, that challenge too. Uh, whatever, all the Micronesian islands, you know, from mm -hmm. Chuk to Guam, all, all the islands, to have that, their challenge, get the, the community, the FSM brothers and sisters, out and come and support it by running, walking, biking, hiking, you know, uh, to, to, and, and uh, they support uh, the, uh, uh, the Micronesian Re uh, Resource Center in Yellow. Um, and, and, and so, and they call it the Family Fitness Challenge, right? So it's a, a 2K, 5K, and Family Fitness Challenge. So the gyms, actually, they're creating their own challenge um, uh, for, for the community. So once a week, they'll have a different challenge. Um, and so if, if it's okay, the, the gyms are so far, that I'd like to, uh, to uh, recognize this. Steel Athletics, um, Spike 22, Tribe, uh, Unified, CrossFit Hita, um, um, Urban Fitness, especially. Uh, uh, Synergy, Synergy is another one. And there's a, there's a, a few more coming up, but they, 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 we're still uh, waiting for them to, to secure their spot. But so far, I believe we, have, we almost got everybody. So we're very happy. We couldn't be happier. Um, oh, another one is the, our restaurant partners. We got Mighty Purple, Shirley's, uh, Stacks Hamburger, Guam Barbecue Company, uh, Fizz & Co. So far, that I've uh, committed so far. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to get more, you know, and uh, it, it, uh, this is basically a shout out to all you, the, the restaurants and, and uh, other gyms or anyone, even, even private citizens. You guys want to help support this? Man, we need all the help we can get to get the word out uh, to help all these uh, nonprofits that are, that are a growing list of benefactors. So thank you guys. Thank you again, Shalom, for the opportunity to, to share this uh, amazing first of its kind event and uh, hopefully God willing that, uh, you know, uh, uh, everyone will get behind it. And I'm, I'm sure we'll, 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 there'll be something really, really special that's going to happen. Oh, for sure. Uh, definitely special because uh, you saw how um, we were, how the economy is uh, right when we hit COVID-19, everything went downhill and, and we we're seeing businesses. Now we see all the lawsuits. People are like, Hey, open up, open up. And then yeah. the government is saying, hold up, not yet. You know, uh, because the government is looking at this at a, a whole um, public health standpoint. They're like, wait, no, we got to ensure that when we open up our people uh, are, are, will, you know, will be, uh, will, ins will ensure our people that it, it's safe to go out. Uh, so everything yeah. right now is pretty much at a downhill. People are trying to, businesses are slowly open up with the, with these new restrictions uh, uh, that are being eased up uh, during uh, the peak core. Uh, but, you know, having something this like this is huge. It's been a while since we've seen a fundraiser. When we went into core to P core one, it was crazy. There was no fundraisers. You didn't see any, you know, because, you know, Guam was a big fundraiser island. We see fundraisers every single day, Absolutely. every single weekend. Yep. And then when COVID happened, all of that just went to, to a big stop. So what you're doing, and I think this is one of the um, many fundraisers that are kind of coming out of the the coming out of the, the woodworks to, to help our people yeah. and help our organizations, especially nonprofit organizations who've been doing so yeah. well throughout the years. So uh, yeah. man, thank you so much for the idea. And, and was it yours? Is this a collective thing? Was, is it you and other partners? No, yeah, no, actually, yeah, no, it was, 
it was by the grace of God, brother. I mean, again, I just I'm just following my my spirit, man. Of, you know that inner that inner voice. You know that you know you, you know it's the right thing to do. You know. So um, again, yeah. So I saw the scale and the, and the potential of it, and uh, I just had to share it because again, like I said, how could you not? You know, especially in this time, man. You know, I mean, you, you just can't. You, you just, I don't think anyone could just keep you know keep going without uh, you know thinking about others. You know, you know what I'm saying. So and then you know that there was uh, to reciprocate. You know, it, it all comes back. And like I said, the world is a different place, man. We have to. We have to work together, man. We have to. <laughs> so. T teamwork yeah. makes the dream. And like I said, we're all islanders. We're all brothers and sisters. And I think yes. uh, this is the time that, you know, the, that really shows how powerful we are when we come together. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Amen. I love it. So, um, and I love the fact that, you know, you reached out uh, to me to, to, to try to get a hold of our brothers and sisters. Uh, that, that you created this idea and, and shared it not only for the people here on Guam, but also for other islands who live here on Guam and call Guam their home, that you, you yep. reached out to them because, you know, uh, Menyetlu and, and the uh, Micronesia Resource Center are, are, are one of the key organizations here on Guam right now to this day that, that really help out big time with our people. And, you know, and, yep. and I just did a, a podcast with uh, the team at the Micronesia Resource Center where we kind of break yeah, down the that. different programs that they have. And, and seeing the different programs they have, um, I'm just like, I'm just blown away about how helpful these programs have got. You know, you talk about the, um, the Welcome to Guam orientation. We go to the, the driver's license or, you know, program. Yep. Uh, talk about yep. uh, virtual, they do a virtual village program. They have so much programs yep. that are out there that are, are helping our people. And especially when we went into COVID, when we went into lockdown, you know, people were lost. People didn't know what to do. The governor was like, hey, lockdown. And that's Not, it. Yeah. So people was like, whoa, what are we going to do? What, what are we going to do for yeah. food? What are we going to do for work? What are we going to do, you know, for, yeah. for school? So um, the organizations like the Manielu and uh, Micronesia Resource Center stepped up their game. And, and especially with our people with their, the language barrier, um, yes. kind of, you know, did their part in, in using social media as a medium uh, to, to push the message out in, in different yeah. languages so people can know. So, yeah. Um, you know, uh, th their program as well as, as yours is a nonprofit organization. So that means, you know, they need funds. And when we went into lockdown, everything shut down. You, you're going to yeah. know they're, they're going to run out of funds, you know, at some at some point. So with a um, with an organization like yours and this big event that's coming up, uh, it really will go to a um, an awesome cause. Oh yes, that, that yes, definitely. Oh, by the way, my brother, that this uh, this event, there's a there's this is actually an ongoing type of uh, uh, um, uh, activity. You know what I mean, so it's okay. not just one time; it's on it's ongoing. So there's gonna be different challenges. So far, we have about twenty. We have twenty six different themed events. So uh, I can't wait to unfold them and uh, to show them and uh, you know on the website. But I don't want to give too much away. Uh, at least the idea you know, and the mechanics is there. You know, for everyone to to uh, to to I guess to to use your imagination. Uh, but uh, other uh, other than that, my brother, again, thank you for the opportunity to have me on here to share, you know, this, you know, to share this uh, events. And again, if you're a nonprofit organization, a charity, uh, sports team, you know, even uh, family medical, you know, if you need help, you know, to raise funds, you know, for your 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 cause, your mission, uh, please give us a call. We, we you know we do what we can, and um, you know, we can do more, so much more when we work together, brother. You know, so much more. That's true. That's true. And again, Troy, thank you so much. Uh, you know, before we close out here, I'd like to throw this message. You know, I've been using this question for my last couple of um, episodes, and I think it's really key. You know, the name of the podcast is the One Micronesia Podcast, and uh, bringing you on here. You know, people would wonder at the beginning of the podcast, like, okay, why am I talking to Troy and stuff like that? Oh. And I think you know, and, and I think that the key here is um, is unite is, is unity. And, and what you're doing is unity as well, where you're uniting um, different companies and different people around and, and benefactors to, to help support uh, people who need, uh, especially nonprofit organizations and, yep. and other organiza organizations out there. So brother, I'm gonna ask you the question, I mean, I mean what does One Micronesia uh, mean to you? Oh my goodness, One Micronesia, I mean, man, it's just so simple. It, 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 that one Micronesia, that, that's the spirit and the essence of, of what this, this new global fundraising event is about. So I might have to bite that off of you. <laughs> but it definitely encompasses uh, the, the spirit of what this, uh, the, the, this fundraising event, this global fundraiser for all the, uh, the benefactors we have on our list. It absolutely encompasses the whole spirit uh, and message uh, is, you know, for, for what we're doing is that one Micronesia. 
Awesome. Uh, Troy, again, thank you so much. I know uh, it's late, but you know you took the time to uh, to speak to me. Uh, thank you so much for jumping on the podcast here. Uh, before we close out, uh, any any other um, details, information you want to throw out before we close out? The, oh man, brother, just uh, so much love for you know everyone over there at KOM, man. You guys, you know the content you guys are putting out, you know the creativity of it, that the different vehicles and platforms you guys are, are making it available to. Next level stuff, man. I mean, it's it's, it's amazing. I, I, proud to be a part of it and, and, and happy you guys are doing it, man. Thank, Thank you again you. so much for all you do. All right. And before I let you go, um, can you also remind people uh, where they can go? You, you talked about a website and where they can go okay. to find all this. So, so where can go people go get more information yeah. about this? So two websites, uh, virtualrunguam.com and guam5k.com. Those wow. are the two websites. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Troy, again, thank you so much for jumping on uh, uh, another edition of the podcast. Uh, you continue to have a great one and be safe.